watching in the Starlight Express rooms around the country. Hello, Before hello. we start, I would like to acknowledge the traditional owners of the land. We are all tuning in from and pay my respects to their continuing culture and contribution that make the life in this country so wonderful. We are broadcasting from the Royal Children's Hospital mm -hmm. on the Wandry land of the Kulin Nation, where we work, live and play. That's right. And we are here with a very special guest today. Oh my goodness. You know him from Australian Idol. You know him from Dancing with the Stars, The Masked Singer, Neighbours and heaps and heaps of musicals like The Last Five Years and Grease and many more. Please welcome Rob Mills. Oh, hey guys. Mills. Merry Christmas. Seasons greetings everyone. Hey, um, can I say I love the countdown music. It's got a bit of a Dua Lipa vibe to it. I don't know if anyone else out there was doing the same as me. I was really having a bit of a boogie. I was really loving it. I'm loving myself sick. Yes. <laughs> it's hits only here on Starlight TV. Absolutely. And Rob, with your name, Rob Mills, he loves Xmas. I'm yes. going to say you are a fan of Christmas and Starmas. <gasps> Yeah, Ooh, I do like Christmas a little bit. I don't know if you can see this. Um, there's a bit of a nutcracker here. There's a Christmas tree. Uh, Santa is creeping back there on the piano, a bit of tinsel, obviously some lights. You, oh, just, I, you needed a bit of Christmas flair, you know. This 2020 wow. was a bit of a downer and we needed, a, you know, a bit of sparkle. So I took um, I took a leaf out of the Captain Starlight book and went, how can I do this? What do I need? Sparkles. We need, we need fun. We need outrageous. And also we need Christmas jumpers. Oh, we sure do. Very good. And, well done. And uh, did you pick up knitting while you're at home this year as well? Did you knit that outfit? That's right. That's right. I did. Um, we've all had to. We've all had to pivot this year. And one of the things I picked up: crocheting, uh, knitting. So if anyone um, needs anything done, that's a lie. I don't. I don't have to do that. My partner <laughs> did learn how to crochet. Um, she's made a few coasters. Um, she even made. She's made like uh, bikinis. She made bikini tops. I don't, I don't even know how, how she did that, but, yeah, she's, she's oh, making God. them for friends for Christmas. How fun. That's amazing. Oh, oh, homemade Christmas prezi. I know. Yeah, yeah. I, like, I like that. That's what 2020's done. Upskilling, guys. Upskilling. It, it has. And 2020 has um, made us wear some masks, but you got to wear a super cool mask mm. in a TV show oh, yeah. called The Masked Singer. Yeah, last year I got to be part of the very first Masked Singer Australia, and it was so much fun and weirdness like the, if we weren't on stage you were in a big black cloak covered from head to toe you couldn't show your hands you couldn't show anything um it had like a tiny little hole that you could see out of but that was covered as well um and i was of course the, the wolf um last year and, and i came runner up on the show and it was it was so much fun to be out on stage i think it's the first time i've ever sung on stage um and closed my eyes because usually, because people can see you all the time, but I found myself, um, I had to sing the song Shallow. Do you know if you guys know that song? It's a duet between Lady Gaga and Bradley Cooper from the film, um, what's the film, guys? Come on, Captain Star is Born. Star is Born, thank you. You should know that. You're Captain Starlight. Um, so I had to sing that song and I, I had to sing, I'm of the deep end, what is I I had to sing the the female part as well as the um, the male part, and I was like, "Why? Why, Whoa. Would, you me, why would you make me do that?" <laughs> so yeah, I had to really concentrate. I don't know if you saw my face then. I did. I just closed my eyes and try and get to that note. Yeah, it was it was so much fun to be part of a, a weird and wacky show. Um, and wow, yeah, to be great. down in the R three with um, the monster Georgie Coughlin and uh, Cody Simpson, who won the show, the robot. And I love watching it again this year. And I got to interview everyone who got kicked off the show or, sorry, didn't get kicked off, but, like, who was revealed. Um, I got to do that as well as part of the um, as part of Channel 10's broadcast this year as well. So that was super fun to share experiences with other people who have gone through the same thing. Yeah. Very cool. Amazing. Ooh, I've just seen we've got uh, a message come in. Monash oh. Children's Hospital says, hi, Millsy. Hi, guys. How are you going? Monash Boy. Children's Hospital. That's out where I grew up. Oh, Cool. And if anyone out there is watching has any questions, you can contact your local Captain Starlight mm -hmm. and we will get your message to Millsy. If you have yeah, far away, guys. I'm here for you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You actually, I think you addressed one of the questions that I was going to ask, which is, yes. like, did you know who the other masked people were? Or, like, what <laughs> happens when you're not on stage? 
you oh, have to be disguised the whole time. Completely disguised the whole time. Um, you also, I remember I had to go to like an office works car park to get picked up from, and then they make you put on the, the, the hood and then you get in the car and they just call you by your code name, Wolf. All right. Hi, Wolf. How are you? Like, no one calls you by your name. It's just <laughs> by your character. Um, yeah, you had to wear gloves all the time so no one could see your hands even. Um, oh and so, yeah, I had no idea who anyone was. But I I remember hearing um, Paulini laugh and I was like, that laugh is so unmistakable. <laughs> Paulini and I had did Australian Idol together in 2003, very long time ago. But I just, I know that laugh so, so, so well. I was like, she's definitely in the show. Ah, wow. <laughs> I, think was, I think she was the only one. Yeah, I think she was the only one. Nice one. <gasps> So good. And you're and you're separated the whole time as well. So like think of um like your high school portables, but a really small one, um, all in a sort of a warehouse and everyone is in their own private so you have, it's like a superhero village, basically. Yeah. Yeah. Everyone's yeah. in their lair. <laughs> yeah, like a warehouse lair. <laughs> oh my gosh. Listening well, to people warming up before their song. It was really it was really fun. Uh-huh. Oh, we've had a question come through, actually. Mm. This one's from Roger's dad. Shout out to Roger's dad. Hi, Roger's dad. Uh, my um, favourite Christmas song? Yeah, what's your favourite? Uh, my favourite Christmas song. Uh, I did. It, I had to do an interview this morning about this because I'm doing Carols by Candlelight. And I think my favourite Christmas song every year is the song that I finish and I don't stuff up on the show, on the broadcast. So whatever, <laughs> whatever song I can get through without getting the words wrong. Um, I, I really enjoyed the song I sang with Bobby Fox last year. It's uh, a song by Slade. Let's go with that. Yeah. So here it is. Bow. Merry Christmas. Everybody's having fun. But look to the future now. It's only just begun. Na, 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 na. Anything with like big horns and big band, that's the sort of, um, yeah, something something joyous and, um, yeah, something, something that's fun. I think that's they're the kind of songs that I like. There you Very go. Fun. And you just proved it then. You didn't get anything mm-hmm. wrong in that song then, so that's the number one hit for you. Thank you. I brought the key down about four tones as well. <laughs> 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 Good one to dance to. Milzy, oh, yeah. I have a question for you. May I call you Milzy? First question. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go for it. Great. Uh, second question. You've done a lot of musicals. Do you have a favourite role that you've done? I know it's a tough call because you've done a lot of a lot of cool shows. Mm. I think my favourite role would be Jamie in the last five years. It's just such a beautiful show um, about a five-year relationship between a man and a woman, and I think I really like the structure of the show. The, the man's journey goes forward through time and uh, the Kathy's journey goes the opposite way and they only sing one duet and it's in the middle of the show. It's when they get married. I just think it's a really fascinating uh, piece of work by Jason and Robert Brown. It's really lovely. Um, but the best show I think I've been a part of, and I've said this numerous times, so I just think it's a, the most beautiful show. It's Wicked. Um, has two female leads. Um, without Wicked, there is no Frozen. Without Frozen, there is... A whole generation of children growing up thinking that they still need to be a prince to save the day or that a, that a girl needs to have a prince to, to, to save the day when really they, don't. they just needed the friendship of, of their friends and to believe in themselves and defy gravity. So I think that's still my, my favourite show um, and I love playing Fiero because I got to turn into a scarecrow at the end, which is just so heartwarming because I loved Wizard of Oz as a kid and the Scarecrow was always my favourite character. And then to be the Scarecrow at the end, sorry if, if anyone hasn't seen the show, uh, <laughs> spoiler alert. Spoiler, spoiler. <laughs> sorry, spoiler alert. Um, but yeah, <laughs> the songs are great um, that I got to sing. Dancing Through Life is just still one of my favourite favorite songs of all time. Mm-hmm. Amazing. And so with Dancing Through Life, I'm assuming you had to do some dance moves. Mm-hmm. Oh, I did. Um, any of those watching, they might be like, oh, if I wanted to do musical theatre like the Rob Mills, yes. what are some tips you might give someone that wants to be a performer as well? Oh, it's a good one. Um, this is a, an oldie but a goodie, but practice makes perfect. Now, I have not been blessed with uh, great dancing ability. I know I had to practice so hard. Before we started rehearsals for Wicked many years ago, I flew to LA. I flew myself there to learn the choreography from the choreographer from Broadway 
um, so I could learn it for two or three months before we started rehearsals, just to make sure that when I got there, I wasn't so far behind everyone else. So I, yeah, I, I learned the Cory and I practiced so hard because I knew that if if I was on stage with a bunch of dancers who could dance, I didn't want to be the guy. And I'm meant to be leading this dance through, you know, trying to teach everyone this cool dance. Um, I had to make it, you know, kind of believable or at least believable. And I'd seen Adam Garcia uh, do the role over in London, who is an incredible Australian actor, dancer, singer. And I remember going, oh, he's very good. He's very good. So I've got to, I've got to learn. So, um, yeah, I just pra practice makes perfect, guys. I think that's, that's the most important thing. If you, want to, if you really want to do something, um, then, yeah, practice it. Put, put, put as much time in as possible. There's a really good tip. A guitar teacher actually told me many years ago it was uh, a little a lot is better than a lot a little. That makes sense. So even if you're just doing five minutes of practice every day, it's better than doing um, like thirty minutes of practice at, at the end of the week. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, it does. Yeah, and I think do five minutes every day. Talking mm. about your guitar, I think you might be playing us a song later as well. So stay tuned for that mm -hmm. towards the end of our show. That will be exciting. I have uh, another yeah. little question, if that's okay, Rob Millsy. Mills, actually, that's going to bring me to my question. What do you like to be called? Rob Millsy, Mills, what is the name that you prefer to be called? Uh, to be honest, I always leave it up to the other person, whatever they feel comfortable. Um, some people call me Rob. My partner calls me Robert. Um, sometimes she calls me, uh, with the French accent, Robert, which I really like as well. <laughs> um, Robert. Robert. Um, <laughs> Other people call me Millsy. Other people call me just Mills. Some people call me The Mills. Um, my brothers just call me Rob, I think. Um, yeah, it's. I think it's up to whatever anyone else feels comfortable calling me. That's, yeah. How that's do you feel about the Millster? The Millster. Mills oh, that's good. Millster, Millzo. I've had Millzo. that before. Yeah. Millzo, Millzy. Roberto, Birdie. Roberto. Bobby, oh, Bobby, Bobby Sox. <laughs> there you go. Um, and, oh, another question. This, Ooh, this is some Monash. Very topical, very important. Uh, what's your favourite toe? Out of all the toes? Yeah, I, I'm assuming mm. they mean out of your toes personally. Mm. Okay, okay, okay. Um, that's a tough one. There's 10 to choose from. Oh, guys, that is a, that is that's a conundrum right there. I reckon mm. my big toe is pretty good. Like my little toe doesn't do a lot, but I'd say the big toe, just because I feel like it's it's doing the most, it's doing the most work. So I've got to, you know, you've got to give credit where credit's due. So I'm going to go with the big toe on the right big side because that's where I kick the footy. Yeah, let's go with that. That's an important, important toe. Yeah. Help yeah. with flip flops, very important. Yeah. The so, yeah. big toe. There you go, guys. Thank also, you. Also, shout out to all the other toes. You're also very important. <laughs> Like just so in case they're listening, you just <laughs> I do love you. I do love I do love you as well, other toes. <laughs> uh, and um and oh a shout out to Mia at RC Shout Hay. out to Mia. Hi hey, Mia. Hey Mia, how are you going? This is great. So this has come up on the screen. This is fantastic. I know I imagine you, you have your own TV show. Did you think you have your own TV show when you were growing up, Captain? Uh, well, back on Planet Starlight when I was growing up, I I always thought that I might be a marshmallow farmer yeah. or yeah. maybe a general space explorer. Yeah. I didn't actually learn about what TV was until I became a Captain Starlight. So wow. yeah, it's a surprise and it's great. Oh, it's a magical land. It is such a – this technology world down here on planet Earth is crazy. It's yeah. crazy, isn't it? Yeah. Well, Camera down, zooming you're on in. That's all I can say. <gasps> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Ooh, that leads me on to another question. Uh, Rob Millsy loves Christmas Mills. Yeah. <laughs> Full name. Full name. Very important. What do you think is your favourite thing about Earth? Ooh, my favourite thing about Earth? I think my favourite thing is nature. The way that like, there's nothing better for me than going for a walk 
um, in through the forest, like they call it forest bathing. We're going for a really big bushwalk, but there's like a stream I can jump into and have a swim. Um, watching the stars uh, when you're out of the city and just seeing all of the beautiful stars in the sky is just one of my favorite things. And also just near the being near the water, going for a swim at the beach. Um, that's I think my, definitely my favorite thing about Earth. Um, and high fives. Let's not forget high fives. I just love high fives. <laughs> Yes, we can try on through the computer right now. If you're watching, join in. Hi, oh, hi. 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 <laughs> Virtual well, high five. I love, the, I love the connection it makes. Um, I, that's why this year has been tough for high fivers everywhere. Um, and I know there's some of you out there uh, not allowed to high five this year because of obviously restrictions. Um, but now that we're we're opening up, guys, you get out there, you high five. <laughs> you go and give that high five that you've wanted to give all year. Get out there. Get out there. <laughs> that's, that's for you. That's for you. <laughs> Very good. Did you do the high elbow, though? Oh, yeah. High oh, elbow. yeah. I was out elbow. But sometimes I was a bit risque with the elbow and I, I, I copped a few people in the wrong spot. No, it's oh, not. Yeah. You've got to be gentle with the elbow. Because I'm, I haven't true. learned. I, I, did, I, I learned <laughs> high five. You don't, get, you don't get taught high elbows when you're a kid. It's the true. coach doesn't keep your elbow down. <laughs> well, speaking of Earth Technologies, yeah, we are about to do a quiz, and thanks to Earth Technologies, you can join in <sighs> from wherever you are. Oh my gosh, look at all the special wow. guests we have! Look how many players we have. <gasps> That's so wow. cool, Helen, Bess, go Roger, Zethus, go like to join. Little Gimbo, cool Lisa. I just love the fact that it's cool Lisa, not just Lisa. It's cool Lisa. Cool That's Lisa. Right. We got a little Tim and a little Jimbo. They must be twins. Mm. And of course, Gertrude. Gertrude. And <gasps> is, it if you want in, is it weird that they're in caps, though? Because if they're little, now that they're big, <laughs> it's confusing. Maybe they're so small Are they little? <laughs> Maybe they're so small that they have to shout so you can hear them. That's oh, Christmas oh, Kath has joined in. Christmas Kath. Oh. <gasps> I'm going to say Kath is a fan of Christmas, too. Mm. Yeah. Absolutely, a big fan of Christmas. Oh, Zach, awesome. oh, look Lainey. at this, Lenny. Come on down, guys. Oh, Is wow. Christmas could just be her first name. Oh, could be. Could be too. Yeah. yeah. Absolutely. Christmas. Very good. And if you're watching and you want to join in, go to the web address at the top of the screen, uh, kahoot.it, and then pop in that number there, the game pin, 4510084. Fleur, welcome to the show. Fleur, uh, yes. Oh, I'm excited for a quiz. Yes. And once we've started, you can also join in at any time or you can also play along by texting a local captain, I believe. Yes, you can. Yes. yes in your Starlight Room mm -hmm. or to the Starlight Room, that number you should have on your Starlight TV at the moment. Perfect. Oh, um, do you think we're ready to rock and roll? We've got 14 players. I think it's time to get started. I reckon yeah. we'll get started with our quiz. Are you ready, Rob? You need to do any stretches for this quiz? Yeah, hang on a second, guys. That? I'm just going to do some stretches. Give me one second. Yeah, yeah. Oh, we'll see how Rob gets ready for a quiz. Oh, look at that. <laughs> look at that. Good socks, Rob. Festive socks as well. Oh, just a few <laughs> casual. Uh, great. I'm going to do my uh, finger sit-ups. <laughs> yeah. That is very impressive. I, I can do go. that too, but only on Saturdays. So yeah, I have to wait till tomorrow. Yeah, we've already done our warm-up, <laughs> so we're good to rock. Yeah. Oh, guys, that was actually quite exhausting. <laughs> <laughs> so well done. Day. Yeah, I'm up and about. I'm sweating now. Um, actually, that's just because I'm nervous about uh, about the quiz. I'm, I like to win. I like to win. What's the quiz about? Uh, it's oh! the Bill Super Duper quiz, of course. Oh my gosh. That's right. Rob Mills super duper quiz. All right. No pressure, Rob Mills, but I hope you know a few of these answers. I could win this. <gasps> Chances could be high. All right, here we go. <laughs> Let's see. Oh, uh, okay. Welcome to the Rob Mills super duper quiz. <laughs> Your options are yay. Let's go. I'm ready or wait, what are we doing? What's it going to be? You can answer if you're playing along at the moment. Click on which one you would like. Oh, what do you think, Polka Dot? What would you choose? Yay, let's go. I'm ready. Wait, what are we doing? Mm, I'm, 
I always love a good yay. Just a yay. Yeah. What do you think, Rob? Uh, you know what? Judging from the picture there, where I um, that's actually where I won um, most handsome man of the year award. Um, oh, in, right. Thank you, thank you. Yeah, um, that's most handsome man in the world uh, of the year. Um, yeah, so oh, that was two thousand sixteen. I think that was. Um, yeah. and I remember before walking up to collect the award, um, I actually did say, "Let's go." <laughs> Ooh. Let's go. We're ready. Good one. That's that's a good insider tip, perhaps. I know. Let's Ooh. go. Let's do this. And if you are just tuning in, maybe you are thinking, wait, what are we doing? That's right. If you are tuning in, we are playing the Rob Mills Super Duper Quiz live with the Rob Millsy Loves Christmas Mills. Can you believe it? On the screen. And um, he's ready to go. Yes. <laughs> Well, we've got 16 answers now. Looks like we've had some new players join us. And if you're watching and you want to join in, just use the web address and the game pin down in the corner. Yeah. And, Rob, I remember when you did win that award, there was something in the cup, wasn't there? Like there was what was in the cup? Was it a it was, it was something that, that I had uh, promised Captain Starlight uh, the year prior um, at the awards when I didn't win. I said if I do win it next year, I'm going to do this for all the Captain Starlights out there and I'm going to I'm going to have a tuna milkshake in it. And I did. That's That was it. It was a tuna milkshake. Um, yeah. That was for you guys. I did, I did it for you. And it was uh, disgusting. But I, but I prom <gasps> promise, guys. Promise is a promise. Thank you. Thank you. From Mills Loves Christmas. Ooh. Okay. Shout out to Zane from Randwick. Hi, Zane. Um, very cool. Looks like there were no wrong answers in this one. So... Yeah. We so got the winner was yay. Now, also, I think how fast you answer may get you some points too, so bear that in mind. Oh, great. All right, Ooh, yeah, like yeah. A tiny deal so far. All on donuts. Okay, here we go. Warm up question. Bit of practice. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. What is the point of the quiz? Oh, I don't know. I don't know. Your options are to have fun, to hear Rob Mills sing. Oh, yes. Mm -hmm. To win. Oh, yes. Oh, all of the above. Ooh. I think I know this one. You reckon? What do you reckon? Mm. I think oh, microphone <laughs> is here. <gasps> oh. it, could have been, it could have been a hint. It could have been a hint. Um, <laughs> it could have been a hint. I'm not saying, you know, this is for anything other than just a, it's a really bad prop, but uh, it's ready to go. <laughs> <laughs> Anytime you need it. Exciting. Could have been um, oh, oh my gosh, we've got 18 answers. Look how many people are joining in. Oh, yes. Welcome, everyone, to the quiz. Welcome, okay. guys. So, to have fun, hear oh, you are sing or win. Mm. All of the above. I can just throw it out there and I'm going to say all of the above because I'm super excited. Yeah. yeah. I'm going to say all of the above. I hope so. <gasps> oh, what? and that was correct. Oh, yeah. Yes. <gasps> oh, hang on. We have a dare from Rosie in Darwin. Ooh, oh, okay. Millsy, do a, do a star jump. Oh, okay. Uh, I'll, okay. I'll do it if um, Polka Dot does it as well. Okay. Polka Dot, you're, you're out. out. I think that's fair. Whatever Millsy does, I do too. That's the rules. Except for probably the singing. <laughs> Do it, team. All right. Are you ready? On the count of banana. One, seven, tree, banana. Yes. Whoa, that was huge. <laughs> An extra one. It's my favourite kind of countdown as well. Absolutely. <laughs> banana. Oh, Anything Christmas Kath. Oh, wow. 929 points? Woo! Whoa. Yeah! Look at that for the bonus point. Okay. Question three. Can you guess this Christmas song? It's Rob's favourite. Favourite. Ooh. Take it away, it's Rob. It's beginning to look a lot like Christmas. Toys in every store. Is there more? 
but the prettiest sight to see hmm? is the carol that will be right within your heart. I don't want to get oh. too much away. Oh, that was beautiful. Oh, just the beginning there to give you an idea. A little, a little teaser, a little teaser. Don't want to give too much away. Could it be Silent Night, Jingle Bells? It's beginning to look a lot like Christmas or Rudolph the Reindeer. Mm -hmm. I've heard the um, I've heard the Rudolph was doing some exceptional work last night. Was it Captain Stella in the uh, little dress rehearsal before Christmas Eve? Mm -hmm. That's right. Leading banter in the sleigh. I've heard that they did a little test run across across Australia last night. Well done. Well done. Uh, yeah. really? Oh, there is the it is beginning to look a lot like Christmas. Thirteen people Whoa. were correct. Shout out to, oh my gosh, Rob. There's a lot of people that want a shout out. Do you want? <laughs> I, Roger, I recommend- Bessie, Amali, Adash, at Monash. Hey guys, hope you're doing all right down at down at Monash. That's my local where I grew up down that way. I'm a Willis Hill kid, um, and now I'm in the in the city of Melbourne, but not far away. So hi, everyone down at Monash. <laughs> and hi to everybody. Thanks for watching and thanks for playing. We've got another question. <gasps> oh, what nursery rhyme is Rob singing but using the wrong words? Oh, 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 oh. guys, 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 wait, wait, wait. I've got to get, I've got to get a book. I've got to get a book. Oh, okay. Go. Ooh, what's using it going to be? the wrong words. Okay. <gasps> Ooh. <laughs> Tricky. I reckon it's going to be Good King Wenceslas. Wenceslas. Wait, are we doing Christmas song? No, we're doing nursery rhymes. Nursery rhymes. rhymes. Okay. You know, I said I like walks. Oh, best walks of the Great Ocean Road. We're going to learn as well. So I will do a. Here we go. Are we ready to go? So ready. Okay. This is a particularly spectacular walk, which after a short inland foray takes you via a coastal route halfway up the slipped escarpment. That's a new word for everybody, escarpment. And along to the cliffs surrounding beautiful Castle Cove Beach. Right. The slip escarpment. <laughs> Did everyone yeah, get that? That was a beautiful performance and we learned something new. Yeah, we learned a new word there. Well done, guys. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. An escarpment. Oh, there you go, guys, along the cliffs. Educational cover of Incy Wincy Spider, Twinkle Twinkle Little Star, Wheels on the Bus, or Five Little Ducks. Ooh. I feel like two of them sound very similar. <gasps> they do, yeah. Oh, you were right. It's Twinkle Twinkle Little Star, 13. Called Twinkle. Oh, who's in the lead? Oh. Lainey. Lainey's still in the lead. Lainey's still in the lead. Ooh. Seven players have reached answer streak four. So they've got four correct answers four in a row. Four correct in a row. Woo, champions. Wow. That is excellent work, guys. Four. Okay. Round oh. two, Rob Mills trivia. Rob, I think you might have the edge on this. Oh. Question okay. one, what is Rob's nickname? Is it Ooh. Wolfie? Is it mm. Robbie? Mm. Is it Millicent? Or is it Millsy? Oh, what could it be? Mm. I, don't know, Rob, I don't know, Rob Millsy loves Christmas Mills. I don't know if you'll know this one. Mm. The tricky a one. There's a, there's a few in there I've been called, uh, but there is one that is pretty predominant nickname that I've had since I was a kid. It was passed down from my father and his father to him, from his father to him. Uh, it's the, it's a generational kind of nickname. Um and it's a very, a very Aussie thing that we do here in Australia, which we'll talk about as soon as the answer is revealed. Ooh. As soon as it is revealed. Mm-hmm. If, um, if anyone does see you out and about, Rob yeah. Mills, 
he loves Christmas meals, yeah. do they recognize you more so from like Australian Idol or The Masked Singer or musical theatre? <sighs> so many things. Are they like, oh my gosh, it's <gasps> from? <gasps> it's a, a bit of a bit of everything. Um, uh, there was a guy a couple of days ago. I was walking through the city. He said, "Hey, mate, are you are you famous?" I went, "If I was, you would remember who I was." <laughs> so. <laughs> 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 I should know you. Like, well, obviously you shouldn't because <laughs> you don't, but that's okay. Um, I, I do enjoy a, a chat with anyone, so do, never, never uh, feel shy to come up and have a chat with me. I love, I love a chat. So yes, I, I, I thoroughly enjoy it. But yeah, mainly it's for um, from from neighbours over the last few years uh, and from the musicals that I've been a part of. But I think yeah. Australian Idol was such a successful show back in 2003. Oh, my God, Lainey has done it again. Lainey. Amazing. Oh, they guessed it as Millsy. Millsy. Oh, oh, Millsy. Millsy. True or false. Oh, Millsy. True or false. Oh, already, okay, so this, I feel like this has already been talked about. Um, but we did mention a few, a few of the characters on The Mars Singer. We did mention the robot. We've mentioned Monster. Uh, a, the parrot was in the show. Um, there was, of course, the crab. Um, there, was a, there was a few different characters on last year's season of The Masked Singer. Mm, the bush did ranger. You get, did you get to choose what you wanted to be? Well, like, did you get to say, I want to be this one? Did they give you options? They they wanted me to be a crab. He was like a uh, like a kind of a suave kind of uh, lobster kind of kind of thing. And I and I said, nah, what else? Did, what else have you got? <laughs> and they said, what, what about a wolf? I was like, yeah, let's go there. Let's lock in the wolf. I'd like to be the wolf, thanks. Thanks, please. Um, and oh, I've just given away the answer. Oh, I'm just, I'm just, I don't know what I've done there. I'm really sorry. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not a very good quiz master. <laughs> I think we've worked out. Rob is not a very good quiz master. He gives out the answers. <laughs> You're too good at it. You know all the answers. <laughs> oh, Ooh, 14 got that one. It was, of course, true. The other three, now you know. Now you know. The wolf. Oh. You know. <laughs> was that your signature after the end of your, each song? You had to do the wolf sound? I just came, I was just doing that in the um, behind the scenes, like backstage, and then I did it after one of the songs. Um, and then they're like, oh, keep that. Let's use that. <laughs> so, so we kept doing it for the rest of the series just because just it was super fun. Yeah. Very nice. Oh, Lainey is hard Lainey, to beat. Yes. Ooh, Ooh. Back to quizzes. What TV drama did Rob Mills star on? Was it Home and Away? Neighbours? Packed to the rafters or McLeod's daughters? I would say <laughs> judging by the hat, it could be McLeod's daughters. Mm. It could. It could. Yeah. Uh, maybe the country about vibe. that hat. Yeah. But the suit judging, is a different mm, vibe. The suit, the suit's different. It could be packed to the rafters kind of vibe. Mm, the yeah. Poor, the poor spelling of neighbours also could be something. <laughs> Is this hat and suit because you're dressed for both home and away? Yep, yep, yep. Yes. Like business Thank and you. money. That's right, that's right. That's how I like yes. to dress. Bit of business on top. Both, oh, yeah. Business shorts, very good. And some party socks, guys. Oh, oh. Christmas socks, well done. Yes. In the spirit. I should also point out, Captain, I know that this is, it's not your doing. It may have been another Captain, but that is very poor spelling of the word neighbours. <gasps> we are is. going to write a strongly worded letter to Nana Starlight about this. Will. If, if everyone, watching, everyone watching at home um, or at the hospital, wherever you are, N-E-I-G-H-B-O-U-R-S. That is the American spelling without the U. Um, just, just so you know, guys, it is, there is a U there. I am a... Is it, is it bad that I'm a stickler for spelling? <laughs> no, it's been very educational today. We learned about this. We learned about escarpment. Escarpment. <laughs> it's amazing. Educational. I love so it. much today. Ooh, oh, it was neighbours. Spelled incorrectly. Thank you. <laughs> Sorry, guys. <laughs> 11 uh, people got it right. 
Whoa. Whoa. Moved around a bit. Lil Jimbo is creeping on up on Laney there. It's a close game. It's anyone's game. Oh, it's close with Lisa as well. Cool Lisa is very close to Lil Jimbo. Or is it Lil Jimbo? Lil Jimbo! <laughs> Marissa, oh. Bess, also Lainey. doing very well. Lainey's going to be hard to catch. Mm. Well, this is going to be a tough one. Which of these songs didn't Millsy perform on Australian Idol? Didn't perform. Okay. Didn't perform. This is 2003 oh. and I have a very bad memory, so I may be unsure of the answer myself. Oh, wow. <laughs> um, Millsy, do you know all of these songs? Could you give us a little excerpt of Ooh, each of these? Yeah. Do you reckon? So the first one is Angels by Robbie Williams, and it goes a little something like, I sit and wait, there's an angel contemplating my faith. And do they know the places where we go when we're gray and old? Uh, that's a bit of Angels. I'm loving I'm angels instead. Um, oh. The next one is, when you say nothing at all, because uh, you say it best when you say nothing at all. That's my very bad Ronan Keating. Uh, <laughs> the smile on your face lets me know that you need me. There's a truth in your eyes saying you'll never leave me. The touch of your hand says you catch me wherever I fall. You say it best. You say it best when you say nothing at all. Um, Backstreet's back. That's like everybody, yeah. Rock your body, yeah. Everybody, rock your body right. Backstreet's back, all right. <gasps> yeah. Oh, classic. Ooh. And the last one is, uh, I'm never going to say goodbye because I never want to see you cry. I swear to you, my love would remain. And I swear it all over again. I think that's it. I don't want to that. I, don't, I don't think I've got that wrong a bit, but <laughs> something like that. Oh, this was a tough one, but it was, was back straight back. Yep. But I feel like you have sung this on the television before. I sang that song on The Masked Singer as The Wolf. Ah. That's a fact, guys. That is a fact. Sneaky, sneaky. Lainey Ooh. got it right. We've got a shout-out from Millsy's biggest fan. Hey, Zara. <gasps> Thank you so much. Thanks for watching. Thanks for playing along. I hope you're getting all the questions right. If you are my biggest fan, I, I, I kind of assume that Zara is getting them all right. If not. I reckon. I reckon. I reckon. Yeah. Hi, Zara. Anyway. Oh, well. Fox. Now yep. it's Captain yep. Starlight trivia time. Um, yep. Over there. <laughs> true or false? Captain Starlight is from space. Ooh, I know. True or false? Mm. Oh, are these tapes for flying through the stars, or are they just very sun safe? Who's to say? Mm, they are very sun safe, Ooh. and they do look cool. They're a really cool accessory, but I think there's something more to it. Mm. You reckon? Yeah. I've se I've, look, I've got a great view outside my window here, and mm. I definitely have seen something out the window. Mm. I'm not saying who or whom, but there's a lot of purple. A lot of purple? Oh. Mm. And He's Santa saying. doesn't wear purple, does he? No. 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 <gasps> true. This is true. I know it. Yes, it is true. We do fly down on our rocket ship into the Starlight Express room. Mm -hmm. Oh, Lainey. Look at that. Still in the lead. Unstoppable. Lainey has the highest oh, yeah. streak of nine in what? a row. I think that's what we call a mic drop moment. Mic <laughs> drop. <laughs> Question two. What is Captain Starlight's favourite food? Is it a booger sandwich? Is it a tuna milkshake? Is it pizza? Or is it a light salad like these jolly ladies are enjoying in the picture? A light salad. Oh, a light salad. Let us have a salad. Just one leaf, please. Just one. <laughs> Just a little leaf of a salad. A leaf of a salad. <laughs> Rob, Summer what's, your, 
um, face for eating salad. These ladies are very, very pleased with their salad. What's your salad face? I always laugh when I'm eating salad. Yeah, because salad's a fun, uh, it's a fun dish to eat. <laughs> 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 I That's how I eat my salad as well. So uh, Yeah, you want to laugh as <laughs> well so you can just toss the leaves in. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Really, really do I ever use a fork with salad. It's just <laughs> and if it goes in, it goes in. Like if it misses, it's on my face. Just it's, right. it's part of yeah. fun. Yeah, do you know what I do like? And this is this could be quite controversial, but uh, love a booger sandwich. There, I said it. Ooh, that is controversial. That is controversial. Uh, gooey or crunchy? Oh, crunchy. The crunchier, the better for a booger sandwich. Yeah. Good choice. Yeah, Good choice. yeah I go a crunchy booger. Yeah. Yeah. But like, mm-hmm. so, like crunch on the outside, but soft on the inside. Ooh. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. That's good. Like, that's really good. Mm. Yeah. Oh yeah, that's crunchy. I'm gonna make one of them. I'm gonna make them for a bit of a um, bit of a snack after this. Getting peckish, looking at that, looking at all these delightful things. Maybe I'll just have a. Maybe I throw some salad. (laughs) Yeah. Salad boogers on top. That's got all the croutons. Booger croutons. I do love a pizza, and I'm pretty. Oh, I do love a pizza. You can't really go wrong with a pizza, can you? Let's heat up some stuff on a piece of dough. Oh, I made pizzas in the lockdown this year. That was interesting. Trying to make your own dough and make your own pizza, chuck it in the oven. Super mm. fun. <gasps> Go. Oh, even Stevens for booger sandwich and tuna milkshake. And tuna milkshake. Both great options. That is correct. You've got to have yep. the booger sandwich mm. and the milkshake. Yeah, they're best together. Yeah. <gasps> yeah. What? Hold the phone. Stop the show. We, have a, new, we have a new leader. What? That's right. Rosie, RDH featuring Rosie is on 6,900 points. Well what? done, Rosie. That is awesome work. Lainey, Very needs good. a comeback. Cool Lisa, still in the running. True, true. or false? Oh, true or false. Captain Starlight can sing real good. We might need to do an example just to. Yeah, please. <laughs> Yes, we can sing real good, real good. Don't you know we can sing real good? So good. I think we're better than Rob Nielsen. Maybe we should get cast in a musical with you. I reckon if we practice, we'll make it perfect like you said. And we're going to be stars. Stars. Yeah. 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 Has it stopped? How good was that? Oh, was, you guys, that, was, that was beautiful. Sorry, I, I think I lost um, connection uh, for a second there. But from, from what I heard, the bits that I heard, you guys were just, I mean, if, you know, if Guy Sebastian's not turning his chair for you on the voice, I don't, I, I don't know what, what would happen. You know, like that's, he's definitely turning his chair. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. I turned my chair for you guys. But I, I just didn't hear it. I just, it just cut out. Great. So we can add that, you know, we'll just say Amazing Singers and yep. Rob Mills has approved Ten us. Yeah. <laughs> and yet nine people have said false. What? Um, excuse me. Hang on. And Eight so, people have said true, though. It looks like no. that's the correct answer, too, guys. Just so, Ooh, so you know if you're okay with that. Practice makes perfect, Rob, yes. right? Exactly, practice makes perfect. Exactly, it's just it's little stepping stones, just little stepping stones. Have you got tips for our singing? Can we like improve? How do we improve? I would suggest um, taking up guitar lessons um, straight away, and that's a really good way to get your ear in. Oh, yeah. get that ear in. Yeah. Good. Good and then so- and then less singing, but more sort of listening. Yeah, that, that would be my suggestion. So it will like, help you. It will help you. Yeah, that's it. It will help your singing, but we just don't have to hear it as much. Okay. okay. Oh, true or false? Captain Starlight thinks they can sing real good. Mm, it's a tough one. Also, is that she's loving herself? Um, really. Maybe we just see that face. Try that. Try, try again. Yes, yeah. Yep, I think it definitely makes a difference. Oh, no. yeah. Yeah. Mariah Carey whistle notes, guys. That's what I want. I want to hear. Yes. Oh, the whistle. Go higher. Yeah. 
<laughs> there are dogs all across the country just howling uh, out there at their houses right now. Oh, oh the wolf, the wolf. That's what we did, but that's all we're going yes. for. Oh, the wolf. Oh, and that is, of course, true because Captain Starlight's are nothing if not confident. We are. We are. Confidence we gets you everywhere, guys. That's right. That's First step, believe yourself. Let that be a lesson to your kids. Confidence will get you everywhere. 7,807 points. Ooh. It's going to be a record. Final round. Final round. Musicals. The musicals. Ooh, I think I think Rob may have an edge on this one as well. Question one, who is this character from Wicked? Is it Alphabet? Is it Elephant? Mm. Is it Linda? Or mm. is it Elphaba? Uh, it looks like um, it looks like me, Captain Pokedot, when I've had too many Fulgur sandwiches. Oh yeah, so you, you, you go a little bit green. You, bit green. you do go a little bit green with it. Yeah, yeah. 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 That, is that? Um, I think that's Adele Dazeem. It is. Oh, 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 same musical actress Adele Dazeem. Yes. Yeah, yeah, the wickedly oh, talented Adele Dazeem. <laughs> a very funny bit for the kids out there who don't know. You might know of a guy called John Travolta. I played uh, the same character in Greece, the musical as John did in the movie back in the back in the day. He was awarding this lovely female actress that you see on the screen an award, and he completely got her name wrong and called her Adele Dazeem. But her name is not Adele Dazeem. It is the incredible, incomparable Edina Menzel. Um, and she played the character of one of these answers on the screen right now. It is, of course, Elphaba, the yes. Wicked Witch of the West. Very well done. And thanks for those fun facts, Rob. Yes. Yes. Okay. One of my favourite things is after the show, uh, so when she had to, she, she got the award, then she was doing a show on Broadway and she changed her name out the front on the big tiles, you know, the big glowing stage, uh, the big glowing sign out the front, and she changed her name starring Adele Dazeem. Yes. <laughs> it was very funny. Um, to everyone, look at this. Rosie, 8,699 points. Wow. Got records right now. Watch out, cool Lisa's on the track, and Bess has had four correct answers in a row. Yes. What a buzzing quick, guys. What's next? All right. Ooh. Finish the lyric from Mary Poppins. Ooh. In every job that must be done, there is an element of fun. You find the fun and snap. Mm. You fly a plane. I think it's the job's a game. It's all the same. The job goes. It's all the, away. Same. the job goes away. The job. Oh. Well, that'd be good. The job goes away. Done. Mm. Finished. Yeah, I would like that. I'd like the job to be. Yeah. If you could just, wouldn't that be wonderful? If you could mm. just click your fingers, and something would be done. Like your brother would stop annoying you. <laughs> your, <laughs> mum, your mum would stop nagging you. Like, it's the greatest trick of all time. Ooh, right. pretty powerful. She's pretty powerful. I'm, I was going to say, yeah, I reckon maybe, maybe she can make those jobs go away. She's she she's pretty clever. She could she also fly a plane, probably. But Did if you could fly an umbrella, would you bother flying a plane? You know, if you could already fly in an umbrella. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Did you guys like Mary Poppins too? I really loved it. It was really good. I do really so like it. So good. And Emily Blood did a great job. I thought it was. But can you go past the classic? Can you go mm -hmm. past the classic? I love the first one. What's your favourite out of those two? Oh, um, that's, a tough one the second. One. that's a tough one. I really like Lynn Manuel Miranda because he's the writer and composer of uh, Hamilton the Musical, and he does a great job. Uh, in the film Mary Poppins 2, Mary Poppins Returns. Uh, Emily Blunt's great. Oh, guys, I've got to go with the original, though. It's, it's, the, one I grew up, it's the one I grew up with. Oh, it's true. the chim chimmery. Chim chimmery, chim chim chim. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, oh, oh, the job's a game. Oh, they know this one. They're on to it. These guys know they're Disney. Mm, very impressive. 
Smart yeah. bunch, smart bunch we got here. Wow. 9,578. I feel like Rosie may even get to, if she does get to this next one correct, could break the the 10,000 point mark. Oh. I don't think I've ever seen it, seen it being done before. I've never seen it being done. Oh, okay. Ooh, true or false. This character from Greece is called Danny Zucchini. Hey, Rob, I believe you were talking about this just now. That's the guy. That's John Travolta. So I played Danny in Grease the Musical um, here in Australia and, and John Travolta was the original in the movie. And the winner is false. Danny, his name is Danny Zuko. Oh, Danny Zuko. Not Danny Zucchini. That was a tough one. It was a tough one. It was a trick question because he had the Z in there. Tricky. And did you have to pull that face too to play Danny? Just the oh, just, just, sorry. Just just show me that face again, guys. Just I can't. I, can't, I need to zoom in. Can we zoom in on the right, captain? Right. I really didn't see that face. Yeah. Like, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That's that's the face. Yeah. <laughs> Hang on. Whoa. Yes, there it is. Of, of course, you're the role. Like I can't even tell the difference oh. now. I'm like, where's Rob gone? It's Danny. Where's Rob? Oh, there he oh, is. That? Oh, he's back. We had, we had to grow our hair really long and do the uh, do the quiff. Oh, the, the updo. Oh, very the full, nice. up, the full updo. Um, that we, we had to learn how to do that hair ourselves. What Ooh, this iconic high school musical song is this image taken from? Oh, I don't know this one, guys. I, I've, I'll be honest with you. I don't know high school musical that well. I'm ashamed to say it. Oh, um, not too well either, but um, I don't know. Is it like breaking free? It looks like he wants to break free. We're so been flying, breaking free. Like Maybe that. he wants it all. Or is he like saying, hey, mate, you've got to get your head in the game. You've got to get your head in the game. Like, is this a young Zac Efron? This is a young Zac Efron. I like it. Is he going to be famous? You could bet on it. Yeah. Ooh, yeah. Okay. I see what you've done there. Or does he want it all? Yeah. He's he's squinting. Maybe the thing that he wants is really far away because he has to squint. Yeah. He looks a bit. I can't tell if he's a bit sad or a bit hungry. Mm, oh. Uh, oh. Can Mill say? Can Mill? Is the, the cool? Friend. Asking for a friend. I feel like anyone who ever says asking for a friend. He's not asking for a friend, but for, but asking for themselves. What do you guys think? I think you might be onto something there, Millsy. I'm going to say that too. I'm going to say that too. So, I don't. Know, I can't say that he's the cool, the captain. Like, oh, there's only the, the coolest captain that I know is my dear friend Captain Cool. Um, uh, yeah. So captain that's cool. It is in the name. I can't argue with that. Yeah, he's the coolest captain. Like that's you can't, you can't beat Captain Cool. Sorry. <laughs> But so um, you, Captain Rocket, yeah. Good point. Would you say that I'm the most polka dotty captain, and this is the most pom pommy captain? The the most, absolutely, hundred percent. Yep. All right. That's, tick, 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 That's tick, tick, tick. cool. Yes. Bet on it. Bet on it. I feel like you gave away a sweet hint there. Bet on it. Oh. Wow. Oh, who's super the winner? New quiz. Yes. So, cool, Lisa. Cool, Lisa. Zane in second place. And the winner is? It's going to be. <gasps> Rosie! Rosie! Oh, yeah. Standing ovation. It's a standing, oh, it's a standing ovation. Oh, good work, everyone. Amazing. Look That's incredible. World oh. record. Incredible. Incredible. Oh, so much fun, guys. That, that was the best. I love that. Oh, so good. everyone for, for playing along at home. I just think that was. That's, do you guys get to do this all the time? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it was so cool. It's really cool. Well, thank you for joining us, Rob. It yes. was such a hoot. It's been great. And thank you for playing along, everyone. That was so fun. Oh, thank and you. So much. Thanks so much for having me. I had so much fun. Oh, yeah. Thank you for coming along. And I think if it's okay, Rob, do you reckon mm -hmm. you're up for another tune? Would you like oh, to Oh, yeah. Sing? If you, if you guys don't mind, a bit of a Christmas song? Yes, please. We would love that. 
Okay, okay. It's a little something I've been working on. Um, just yeah. bear with me. You've got the can setup guys, as well at the back. Can you guys hear any, can you guys hear any, any music? Uh, yes. So it's a little bit of, I feel like there's a bit of magic in the air at the moment, don't you? Absolutely. Something around this time of year, everything changes. It gets a bit warmer, but it also just gets a little bit more special. Something a little, maybe even a little bit more sparkly. It's beginning to look a lot like Christmas. Everywhere you go. Oh yeah, the premiere's on at 10. No one's listening once again. But we're taking off our masks and leaving home. Yes, so it's beginning to look a lot like Christmas. Toys in every store. But the prettiest sight to see is your most recent delivery on your own front door. A pair of hop -along boots and a ring light for shoots is the wish of me and me. Dolls that will talk and will go for a walk is the hope of everybody else. That's it. And mom and dad can hardly wait for school to start again. It's beginning to look a lot like Christmas. Marcus Labougeen hits a four. Crack. But the prettiest sight to see, Captain Starlight on my TV. Yes, they'll make me smile some more. Guys, I've had the best time today. Thank you so much for inviting me into your TV screens. Now is the time. If you've got someone, why don't we all just do a really slow high five just to really bring it in. Slow my high five, everybody. Oh, it's the best. It's beginning to look a lot like Christmas. Toys in every store, but the prettiest sight to see, Captain Starlight on my TV, make me smile some more. You guys are the best, sure it's Christmas. Once more, oh yeah, it's Christmas, guys. Merry Christmas, everybody, and a happy new year. Merry Christmas, guys. Yay! Yay! Thanks, Rob. Okay, so Christmas meals living up to your name. Thanks, guys. Thanks so much for having me. I thought I'd change up some of the words. Uh, for you guys. And uh, look, that's pretty much, I think, how the version should go from now on. Captain Starlight on my TV. I think it's great. I agree. That was so Absolutely. special. Thank you so much, Rob Mills. You're welcome, guys. Have a very Merry Christmas and a very Happy New Year. And to everyone watching, thanks so much and uh, stay safe. Yeah, thanks, thank everyone. You. Thanks, everyone, for watching. We've had a hoot. Thanks, yes. Rob Mills. Thanks, Rob Mills. And thanks, everybody around Australia. Seasons greetings and happy holidays. Very happy holidays. Happy holidays.